first alternation of generations and laminaria what's going on here well first of all we've got a 10 point question over the laminary life cycle on test four and so here's laminaria you say wait a minute that's not a plant that's a what it's a protist how come uh, we're doing a protist i thought uh, we we're into plants now well the reason is because the life cycle what's the name of the life cycle again alternation of generations alternation of generations life cycle that's the life cycle of what all a l l all plants plus what else complex algae commonly called seaweed so laminaria is commonly called a seaweed it's a kind of brown algae and uh, and so it is a seaweed so let's just kind of trace through the alternation of generations as we see it in this diagram then we'll have a pen cast that puts it in the uh, format for the test four question very quickly we see this seaweedy looking thing which generation is it it is the what it is the sporophyte sporophytes what does that mean spore producing plant where the spore is produced they are produced in sporangia and so we see in uh, in the uh, leafy part of this uh, seaweed uh, laminaria there are sacs called sporangia and the first thing that appears in these sacs little round things are not spores they are what sporocytes sporocytes but those sporocytes divide by what process meiosis that's why this one calls them myospore. Spores produced by meiosis. We'll just call them spores after meiosis. And so sporocytes become spores uh, by the process of meiosis in the sporangia. All right, the sporangia pop open. The spores that swim go swimming away. We're in the ocean here, and they burrow in the sand, you know, uh, in the shallow water, and they produce the gametophyte generation and so what process do these arrows represent they represent mitosis that's right that's the spore thing remember these are spores spores reproduced by what mitosis and so we have these little insignificant gametophytes we have a both male gametophyte and a female gametophyte the male gametophyte it uh, what's gametophyte mean gamete producing plants uh, okay, gamete producing plants and the gametophytes are, uh, have structures. Gametophytes have structures called uh, what generically? This is a specific name right here. Generically, they're called gametangia, either male gametangia or female gametangia. And so these are the male gametangia and they're specifically called what? Antheridia. We'll see that term again in numerous life cycles. And what forms in these male gametangia called anthridia? anthridia? Sperm cells. Over on the female side, we've got uh, a structure here uh, that produces, we'll call it, it's the female gametophyte. We'll call this the female gametangium right here. And what is produced? One egg. One egg. And so the anthridia open up and what swim away? Sperm cells. Sperm cells find the egg cell and what process takes place the process represented by this era of what a fertilization producing what a zygote what do zygotes do in this uh, life cycle they divide by what mitosis producing a young sporophyte uh, we would have called this an embryo if we're in the plant kingdom but technically speaking an embryo is forming inside something this is not inside anything uh, we'll call it an embryo in quotes but it is the young sporophyte. Where do we go from here? Back to go. More mitosis turns the young sporophyte into a mature sporophyte. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have uh, alternation of generations uh, with this protist called what? Laminaria. All right, there you have it, folks. Bye-bye.